says you can't have it all? Not Appalachian Wireless. We know what you want. Appalachian Wireless offers the hottest smartphones and unlimited data plans, all on the region's number one network. West Virginia State Police, along with the United States Marshal Service, conducted Operation Mingo Compliance. Troopers in Mingo County spent two days checking and verifying registered sex offenders throughout the county. Within those two days, troopers made an attempt to verify 69 of those offenders. 20 offenders were not in compliance. Troopers have issued arrest warrants for those offenders. Three arrests were made throughout the process. The offenders who may have moved away from an address that we had registered here and uh, failed to let us know about it, the, they were arrested. So that, that's where the three arrests come from. Through the Adam Walsh Child Protection and Safety Act, the U.S. Marshals Service works with the West Virginia State Police to monitor the sex offender registry. We are able to offer them overtime money which allows them to use their resources and our resources together to conduct these verifications across the state. They're done randomly. Sex offenders are required to check in once a year. Unless they've been deemed a violent offender, they're only required to come in here once a year to register, and that's generally the month of their, their birth. If something changes, such as their cell phone number, then they're required to come and let us know that. There are 72 registered sex offenders in Mingo County. In Williamson, Shelby Porter, EKB News.